Hello guys, welcome back. This is Lemon Gaming as always, and we have a bit of a treat today. That's if I can get it to work, give or take. Um, so yeah, um, I'll let you take a look at the deck here real quick, and I'll let you decide on whether or not you can figure out what I'm planning with this deck. Um, yeah, we should have a bit of fun. So we should. Um, in the lobby, there was a little bit of a confliction in the party. The guy that is being Wukong was originally looking to be no. The guy that was be, the guy that's being Twin Blast was originally looking to be Wukong. The Wukong that is currently taking off lane is actually a rank master rank nothing, which I suppose says nothing. But yeah, and the Twin Blast that's in our team was the original one who was rank twelve, I believe. It was something along those lines. So yeah, fun. Um, this deck here is going to be very, 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 very interesting due to the fact that I have no idea how it's going to perform. Absolutely zero ideas to how it's going to perform due to the fact that I've only ran it once and that was in the previous match that um, one of our teammates disconnected. That's a pretty good start to the video, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Even though it consists of uh, me going around punching minions, but whenever shit hits the fan, at least you know something funny is going to happen. Hopefully. And um, I've got a very, 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 I've got a good feeling about this deck, but it's only a matter of time and whether or not we see what's going to happen. Basically, if we can get at this game, then we're going to have a laugh. If we don't, then, well, shit. Because I'm kind of hoping to get at this game, so that means this game can be immediately uploaded. That's if that's even possible. So it is. But yeah, all in all, this we should be able to prove efficient enough, hopefully, maybe, possibly. And hopefully prove efficient enough to get some kills. Because um, what I'm about to do should hopefully not work. But I know it's going to work. That's the problem. And if it does work according to plan... Um, there's going to be a lot of pain flying towards people's faces, to put it nicely. That's if it works as intended, give or take. So the first thing we need to do is get our agility up to 5, give or take. Uh, and hopefully that, that'll, be a, that'll be a substantial start to what we need it for. And then we go into intellect, which we get up to uh, just a little bit at the start, and then we start to go into intellect super heavy later on. Hopefully that mm, the, it, 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 it sounds good in theory, but we all know that that <laughs> we all know this game does not like to play fair sometimes. So it's a case of wing it. Hopefully get the best out of it, and uh, we should soon see how this pans out. Um, normally you can tell who you're up against and who you're with in the first, give or take, five to ten minutes. So you can, and I can already tell, ooh, Iggy nearly died, Wukong, actually Wukong's not bad, but Iggy nearly kicked the bucket. That would have been a very, 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 very bad start. But Wukong went in for an early gank, which I find very interesting. Fair enough, fair enough. But is was his, his gank wasn't successful, which leaves Iggy on, well, leaves Iggy on the lower end of things. But it also leaves them two with very little mana, and if Iggy and Scorch can uh, wail down, we should be grand. Yo, Iggy, bit of help here, dude. Iggy, Iggy, for fuck's sake, Iggy. A little bit of help would have been nice. Ho 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 ho! Off to a span dabby dozy of a start. And back to jungling we go. <laughs> it's literally just as easy as that, but at least Iggy actually did assist. That was uh, very, very beneficial to us because we managed to deal with their jungler for a brief period of time, very brief. But we should be okay. I'm gonna go, once I get the easy, once I re clear this camp, I'm gonna go over and help Wukong a little bit because Wukong should be able to score something out of a weak gank of ours. 
And I've already succeeding I've already succeeded in one successful gank, so getting a second successful gank would be quite imperative. So it would be, but the fact that there's an Iggy and Scorch over there and I don't like Iggy and Scorch, I hate them with a fucking passion. I hate the people that play them with a passion because the amount of people that have figured out some really sly tricks to use an Iggy and Scorch have been really fucking sly to be fair. Right, so we've got five points, we can now go get our guard piercer and that will give us a da bit of damage to go with. So it will, so if we get rid of this and get rid of this and then we can grab our guard piercer. So as of right now, now that we've got our guard piercer, we need to make our way to our fast travel gem, which is two points away. Keep in mind. Oh no, that was very, 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 very bad. But Wukong's going to get ganked again. Or not Wukong, Quang. Quang spends too much time ganking and not enough time farming. So he does um, five, six minutes. The only reason, to be fair, Wukong lost that engagement was it was a 3v1, which is not good odds for any character. So it isn't, unfortunately, but these are the things that we kind of have to put up with as a player. Right, so one more point and we should be solid. Uh, it might pick up Mm, yeah, no, this should, this should do the trick. Well, you now start a uh, putting dropping a couple of points into our in intellect, and that will get us a little bit more power. And obviously, bit by bit, we will get substantially stronger. We're gonna pick up our last ability, which is the dash, because that is gonna be really fucking badly needed. And Greystone J is taking a lot of damage. Holy shit! Greystone may just be dead. Greystone may just be dead. Greystone is dead. Fuck. No need no need for assistance from Mila. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. So Wukong pushed like a nightmare. If she can root Iggy, we can both tag team him. And if we are able to tag team him, then victory can be ours. Three, two, one. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Loving it like that. Aurora, a little bit of assistance, please. Thank you. Oh, Greystone's back. Hi, Greystone. Loving it like that. Right. Grab our first onslaught gem. Do we, currently, we do currently have a point, so we need one more point. Uh, uh, I'm going to grab Call of the Week. Because then that means that we can... Uh, we'll speed up our jungle just that little bit quicker. Especially with Guard Piercer. But uh, Guard Piercer will be removed once I get something else. So, so far, so good. Uh, Wu Kong's going up against Sparrow. Technically, he should win that engagement. But here... This is Paragon. We do not um, we do not gamble. Actually, that's lies. We gamble all the damn time, so we do. Every move, every trick. Unless you're 100% positive, then it's a gamble that you can win. But at the end of the day, every move that you make in Paragon is a gamble at the end of the day. Which is kind of a shame, but eh, what can you do? Right, as far as I know, that river buff should be up in two seconds, give or take. No, seven seconds. Oh, Greystone, how you doing? How you doing, boy? Do you, do you really, 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 do you really want to try and engage me? No, I didn't think so. Right, grab this. You run right past Black Buff, you numb nut. Black Buff would benefit you quite a substantial amount. As I said, you know, not I just accidentally put a point in there that I shouldn't have. Sorry, Iggy. Han Sparrow did nothing to save you. Absolutely nothing. You should be fuming at your Sparrow right now. So you should. You should be absolutely fuming. 
I am Crunch, and this is how I say hi. With a five knuckle shuffle. <laughs> right, so who is up there? Aurora is currently trying to take on a grey stone. And the engagement odds would be in your favour, if I'm being honest. But, at the end of the day, nothing's ever guaranteed. Hmm. So where is Gadget at? Has Gadget made her... No. Oh, wait, yes. There she is there. And she retreats because I ran out like an idiot too early. The element of surprise is a big part in this game. Working strategically and using strategic... Ooh, full camp. I completely missed my train of thought. Basically, flanking... Basically anything that allows you to get the advantage, take it. So it does. Um, flanks normally work pretty damn well. Um, good AoE characters, high burst characters like Countess. All good, all good. But uh, Countess, currently broken. She needs dialed it down a bit. And... Oh, Jesus. Aurora is actually pretty damn effective at being Aurora. Shocking, uh, shockingly enough. So, I need one more point and I can get Invader Mage, if I'm correct. I need one more point. So I do, and then I can get Invader Mage. And once I get Invader Mage, that's basically, that just skyrockets my damage for the meantime. So it does until I get my hands on some other little utensils. Come to think of it, actually, what is required for? Oh, well, I'm alright well past that one. So now all I need is just a lot of man. I can live with it. I can live with it. So I can. All I need is a lot of mana now, and we are basically golden. The damage that we'll be able to pump out soon enough will be ridiculous. Let me see what Greystones run. Eh, intelligence order. It's a pretty standard combo, to be fair. Oh no! 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 Ah, there we go. That was a lot of stupid, and that was my kill, you bitch. That was my kill. <laughs> oh, these things happen. Oh, well. Still was my kill, though. Still pissed about that. Right. Grab our last one. And we should be solid. I'm going to go see a bit river buff here real quick. Ah, oh, no. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go bully Iggy. Again. What? What do you think you're going to do? What do you think you're gonna do, bitch? What do you think? <laughs> oh Jesus! Crunch is already just taking names and just beating people to fucking half death. Right, need to get go grab that last card of mine, and then uh, what we could do? Hmm, I'm sitting thinking because this is the second time I ran this deck, and the first match didn't exactly go to plan, so uh, that kind of failed. Right, so we'll get rid of you because we want to keep Cull the Week for as long as possible. Uh, and we'll just continue leveling up our intellect because our intellect is where the main source of our damage comes from. So I should have overparts spells and ruthless spells, which you basically, whenever it comes to just massive burst, um, mm -hmm. that is exactly what you need it for. Right, so. Um, well, our jungler's not jungling, so I'm going to go jungle for him. Which will just... Oh, okay then, I'll actually, I'll just take that. Yo, woo, are you okay there? Because I'm really, really, really... Just going to jungle. Oh boy, they just made the biggest mistake ever. And that was just charging head first in. I am going to fucking hammer them into the ground. That sparrow is dead. <laughs> As I said, that sparrow is dead. Wook, or, I'm just going to come run at you because you've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> oh, boy jolly. I do feel sorry for them at times, but what can you do? It's just one of those things you just get on with. Right, two more points. Let's pump them in. I should probably start working on me, my health, but for now we'll just keep charging on. Um, we need nine points there, so that's gonna be a lovely start. So Crunch is still currently really fucking god here, apparently. Just nobody ever friggin' uses them. 
So yeah, he's going straight for armor of the vigilant or armor of the godmother or something. Basically, go pure vitality and make yourself super fucking tanky. Uh, pff, uh, I'm pretty sure I should be able to blitz him down, but we'll see because that card's just it is there is a level of broken and it is it basically the card is very very broken. Uh, it wouldn't matter if we did everything in our power to stop him, eventually he is going to get to that point where he is going to be able to get that card, and then once he gets that card, that's it. He will be the full-on tank of the tanks. I'm kind of curious, though, why they only use it on Quang. Quang. So I am, that I am curious about is why they only use it on Quang. So, I guess we'll find out at some stage. Right, I'm presuming this purple buff's gone. Yeah. Uh, Twin Blast is holding off by himself here. Like a. Oh well, dude. Are you just running away now? Yeah. You're just running away. You don't. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. Aurora's moving in though. Friggin' hell, Aurora, move the fuck out. Everybody's converging. Right, I'm gonna back up, grab some mana, and hopefully we will get ourselves a bit of an advantage going. But thank you guys, you just guarded me from I don't know what exactly. Nobody's got anything that's gonna be a detriment to me, as of right now anyway. Right, so is Gadget our next target, or is... Ooh, Wukong's just split, Wukong's just pushing. That's all Wukong has to do. All Wukong has to do is just occupy a lane, and that's just it. G G G fucking G all the guy. So it is. When Wukong got pushed back, against course just got rinsed. Man, he's just stopped. So I'm gonna do the utterly stupid slash smart thing and take Raptors real quick here. So I am. Um, because I'm me and I can do what the fuck I want. Oh, that was a fail. Or was it? The damage on my abilities as of right now, though, is a little, 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 little bit scary. Right, so I should probably pick up one of you and one of you. So I should. Uh, that will let me pick up that little speed boost, nitro boost doodad. Which gives me my run speed as well as a bit of attack speed and gets rid of call of the week for me. And we're in six, so we could technically grab three vitality now and get Shadow Dancer. That would make us a uh, even worse for the burst because with Shadow Dancer that just allows us to slide in three punch crunch and get back out again without taking much in terms of severe damage, as I'm gonna call it. Because sometimes you can take an awful lot of damage and not intend to. Like, for example, going up against the gadget. But I've already taken raptors once, and friggin' hell, I'd have to take raptors about six or seven times before I'd be able to actually get anything done. Or get to anywhere near my max build. So that is not gonna happen, but oh fucking hell. Okay, just, um, I love this deck. Um, just, uh, Invader Mage makes Crunch just completely and utterly barbaric. So he does, so it does, um, I'm gonna keep this in mind for future because that is fucking hilarious to watch. Alright, uh, three points into our, to this, because at the end of it all, we're going to need to start building into that anyway, so may as well start now. Because... Invader Mage just seems to be doing all the work for me. So it does. And they're not just they're just not getting a break. Now I'm presuming my presumption. Twin Blast seems to be actually who's over there? Twin Blast and I don't know. I see Wukong there. I don't know who the fuck retreated from them, but I don't know why either. But sure. So we'll get rid of that Nitro Boost and pick up ourselves Shadow Dancer once we get that last thousand points that we need. 
Uh, something tells me this is going to end in a straight up rotation. Oh yeah, Aurora. I forgot about Aurora. And Greystone's going for twin. Iggy. Oh, Teleblank. Nice choice. But is it a smart choice? Okay, hi guys. That's a hi, how are you? Fucking everybody was there. Hi, oh, Quang, how are you doing? I'm pretty sure you don't want to be tangling with me at this moment in time. Uh, guys, a little bit of assistance would be nice. I'm not meant to be holding a lane, I'm meant to be jungling. Uh, let me see, have you upgraded yet? Yes, you have your Mother of the Vigilant, so you're pretty fucking tanky. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, uh, no. I'm not going to be able to do anything. And I'm not getting killed for it either. I'm out of here. I took way too much damage in that engagement, but we can now get a Shadow Dancer, which is just gonna break us even more. So it is. So let's get rid of this and we shall pick up Shadow Dancer. So now we are practically getting on way to our heavy burst damage, if it works, that is. But um, as of right now, we should be okay. So I'm just going to hit cloak now because that's whenever it's going to be most useful. <laughs> oh, Shadow Dancer, I love you so. Nobody ever expects a crunch to be run Shadow Dancer. It's just like it's giving stealth to a crunch. That is something that you should not be able to have. There's a reason why Crunch is not allowed to have stealth. I suppose uh, people don't understand this. And now we just pump everything else we have into pure intelligence because it'll be that intellect at the end of the day that's going to just really, really skyrocket our damage. Um, I'm presuming not many people have Thing either. Um, oh, never mind, they surrendered. Lovely. Wow, okay then. I got an epic, uh, so part one guys. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you've all enjoyed, this has been Lightbeth Gaming and I shall see you all in the next video. Please like and subscribe if you still enjoy and as I said, I will show you hopefully the full build in the next video. Goodbye!